static. It's taken 10 years. 10 years. And one of the reasons I got elected was because of the process to get this skate park built. Why has it been such a problem? Because a very small minority were opposed to it and did everything they could to stop it from happening. Can we just uh, remind those who don't know exactly what is being constructed here? It's a, it's, a, it's a skate park facility, but it's more than just for skate parks. It's actually for any wheeled, like for scooters and everything like this. And it aimed at the, the, the lower level, if you like. Nothing like Royal Victoria Park, which is quite imp impressive. This is actually for much more, and it sits within the keeping of the park. Now, some might say, with the council having declared an ecological emergency, that our park should be full of new trees rather than concrete. Uh, what would you say to that, Joanna? OK, so the reason why I started this campaign ten years ago was as a parent, I recognised that there was nothing on the east of Bath for young people after they got to the age of seven, and that I was getting into my car and driving to all kinds of places to take them to play, and I didn't think that that was acceptable. And what we actually failed on, on this side of the city, was provision for young people aged seven and over to play in their local parks. You've got a lovely little playground here, but once you get to the age of seven, you don't want to play there. And parents would, would then take their children elsewhere. So in terms of the climate and ecological emergency, what we actually need are real spaces for young people to play that are local to them. And even RVP Park. So we did a little test one day where we took a whole load of kids from here to RVP and we asked the question, how many roads do they have to cross to get there? And it was 20 roads. So even within Bath, that journey for a young person to make by walking is quite a sizeable effort. So I hear what people are saying, but actually what this delivers is a, a great facility for local people to get to by walking and cycling on their doorstep. Joanna, you say local, but it's a well-known fact that Alice Park uh, attracts a lot of people from elsewhere. That road gets very busy with park vehicles. Isn't a skate park going to attract even more? I hope that those people who are attracted to the skate park will recognise the climate and ecological emergency and will change their behaviour. And we all have to recognise that at the moment we are in a um, climate emergency and an ecological emergency. We have to reduce our vehicle mileage by 21% and all of us need to make changes to our lives. So just to say, well, yeah, you're going to attract more people, well, all of us need to make changes to our lives and come in a different way to parks to play. Rob, do you want to add anything to that? Yeah, I mean, we consistently uh, ask people to, to walk or cycle to the park wherever we can. But we do understand that the park has a huge attraction, especially for people over maybe Bath East and everything like that. But I think there's a, there's a social benefit to this uh, the skate park going in as well, because we've noticed that families... This is a great family park, and when parents bring their children here, when they're five, six or seven, everything like that, that's great, they're still a family unit. Once that child starts to get to around about the nine, eleven age, other than a football, they, you know, what is there for them to do? And so giving this park will enable those families to come together for a much longer period and those children stay connected as a family unit. And we think that's a great value to having this done.